¿Pero quién dice que quiero andar contigo en mi moto? Eso es chupón. Salir a hacer mis cosas yo. Puedo ir a visitar a toda la familia. Salir a hacer mis cosas yo. You know, I gotta say that um, this man is gonna be one of the most. He comes across as one of the most selfish uh, 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 cast members of all time. You know, and the reason I'm gonna say he comes across to that is because maybe it is a thing where, you know, he just says certain things in a certain way because that's just how he is. He doesn't necessarily mean to say things in a way that is meant to be rude or meant to be selfish or, 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 or whatever, right? But generally speaking, though, the way he comes across is just not right. Like, yo, my man, who is buying you the bike? They've gone to this bike shop, okay? He's got on the bike, she's got on the bike, and he's like, oh, there's not enough space. Because he doesn't want her to be on the bike. But, bruh, who is paying for the bike? Be grateful. Be grateful. If you want to if you want to buy a bike for you, and only, only you, so you can go and visit your family members and all that kind of stuff, cool. But then you buy the bike. But if she's buying you the bike, <laughs> you're just ungrateful, aren't you? Ah, But, hey, let's continue with uh, this uh, amazing couple. Mm. Yo quiero ir contigo. Necesito ir contigo. Por favor, déjame conseguir un poquito más cómodo. Estoy lista para visitar a su familia. ¿Estás sí. lista? Si tú quieres una amistad con ellos, ¿o qué? It's interesting, isn't it? All she had to do was ask him, hey, can we go see your family? And then that was it. It was that easy, right? Hmm, interesting. But let's get into his reasons or his nerves about actually meeting the family. Con esto estoy preocupado por esta reunión. Con la familia de Nueva York, Está pensando que estoy alejándole de ellos. Realmente, solo me preocupa que no le esté pintando. Esto podría ser un desastre. It's funny, isn't it, right? How people... Listen, in life, we have a choice. We always got a choice, okay? And it's funny how he chooses to marry someone that he's worried his family won't like. Now, this is, this is, this is what I mean when I say we've got a choice in life. Is it okay to marry somebody that your family may not like? Yes. Given that you don't give a damn about your family's bloody opinion, then yes. But is it okay to marry somebody that you worry about your family not liking them? Is it okay? No. No, if that means that you are going to, you know, if you're going to be worried about how they're going to react because their opinion matters to you. Now, of course, it really depends on the, on, on, on the situation because sometimes some people really do have amazing family around them and that family can really, you know, tell them, listen, this person ain't it, do you know what I mean? Some people have that luckiness, but then some people have family members who are just jealous and they just don't want you to be with somebody and all that kind of stuff. So it really depends on obviously what type of family he comes from, right? And that that's just to back up what I'm saying about the differences of marrying someone that you see that may become a disaster, X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, he, he, he has decided to marry Ashley. So therefore he should be in a position mentally where he should be like, listen, you're gonna meet my family. They like you, they like you, they don't, they don't. It is what it is. We'll work around it. Not, oh, I'm going to basically try and, you know, prolong you meet my family for as long as possible, you know, because, yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I just don't want them to dislike you because it may be a disaster. But the question is, why would it be a disaster? Probably because she's a witch, right? But um, hmm, let's continue. Or is it because she's too opinionated? Hmm. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she's too opinionated for me. That's for sure, for sure. But if we continue. Sobre sus hijos y tu familia. Oh, como te digo, tenemos que coger con calma con mis hijos y tanto como. My only issue with this whole kid thing is that his kids are, are teenagers now. You know? They're at an age where they should be able to understand. But at the same time, though, again, him worrying about her meeting the family, him worrying about introducing her to the kids, it makes you sit and say, So why did you marry her then? Why? And that's why it's easy for all of us to sit here for the most part and say, Listen, he only married her just to get the green card, just so he can work. Because really and truly, all he ever talks about is the green card, the green card, the green card. That's all he ever talks about, which clearly means he's waiting for it. And once he gets, he's going he's, he's gonna to start working. And then once he starts working, well, <laughs> let's just say maybe a year or two from now, we'll, we'll, I won't be surprised if I'm making a video about how they are no longer together. Mm -hmm. La palabra bruja es muy feo para ti. It's upsetting that Manuel never told his family that I'm a witch. It's like, he wants me to lie to his family about who I am. And yeah, but this is kind of what I'm talking about with the secretive stuff. This is Manuel's thing, you know, leaving out details. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if I do remember correctly, when we first met uh, Ashley and Manuel, I believe that he had no idea that she was a witch. She said that she withheld that information from him and she wanted to tell him this once he got to America. 
So it's, it is quite rich for her to say that, oh, he wants me to lie about what I do when that's literally what you did to him. Yes, we know this man always withheld information. Yes, we know he is a liar, but you still chose to be with him regardless, you see what I'm saying? And therefore, I go back to what I said before. It is quite funny how it was okay for you to hide who you was and the job that you did or whatever you bloody do, whatever. And now he wants you to do the same thing. It's not okay. But I do understand it though, because really and truly, he should be marrying a woman that he's proud of. He should be marrying a woman that he's not ashamed of. He should be marrying a woman that he wants to show off to the world. So from that aspect, I completely get it. But actually, still a hypocrite in the situation, do you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she's wrong for being, no, wait, yeah, she's definitely wrong being, for being a hypocrite in the situation. You know what I mean? But at the same time though, he's also wrong for marrying her, knowing that he wouldn't want to introduce her to the family because of who she is. <laughs> Honestly, their relationship uh, literally has this amount of sense behind it zero sense because really and truly when we first saw these two and on the last season of night day fiance their whole relationship was pretty much built around intercourse literally intercourse and to be fair with you it's always been very suspicious that uh, they knew each other once upon a time where they were obviously friends with benefits but then obviously they then cut contact cut off contact obviously she went off and got a relationship that didn't work work well and as soon as she became single boom bam she's back in ecuador and all of a sudden he's now proposing to her I really wonder what happened within those years. I think it was about seven years or something like that. I really want to know what happened for him to say, do you know what? I actually want to be with you. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. And for me personally, the only thing that I can think of is that within that timeline, he thought, for, for, he thought F this, I need to get to America because I want to start, I start earning the dollar and then obviously start sending it back home. That's what I think. I genuinely feel like he just wanted to be actually purely because of the benefit of going to America and that's the stat. Not because of the benefit of actually being with him, being with Ashley and not for the benefit of the fact that he gets to sleep for all the freaking time because she loves it. Honestly and truly, for some women, they may think women, men are simple. They may think that men only care about the intercourse part. And I'm not saying that's not true. That is still a big part of what we care about, 100%. But just because we care about it, it doesn't mean that we it can be used against us as a tool. So many women still think they can use intercourse as a tool against men. When in reality, sometimes men be using intercourse as a tool against women. Because really and truly, we all know this. Generally speaking, um, if a man sleeps with a woman, generally speaking, women see that has value. If women see that as, oh, damn, he's into me. Oh, he likes me. Like, he actually wanted to be intimate with me. And like, I could feel the energy. I could feel the vibration. Like, oh, my goodness. He must really love me. He must really want me. Which, listen, traditionally is all correct. But here's the thing, though. Some men know that they, they know that sleeping with a woman will make a woman believe that that man is there to stay and that man wants to be with them and all that kind of stuff. When in reality, he's just sleeping with you to literally buy time until he gets what he wants. I mean, look at it this way. <laughs> Nigerian men wouldn't have freaking a, rec a reputation if it wasn't, if, if what I'm saying wasn't true now, right? <laughs> the amount of flipping spawns they've got in this world, you know what I mean? Like flipping offsprings, oh, they're left, right, and center, they don't even know about, or they do know about, but they've left behind because, you see what I'm saying? Just because a man sleeps with you, it doesn't necessarily mean that he wants to be with you. Remember that, okay? Just because a man sleeps with you, doesn't mean necessarily he necessarily loves you. Remember that, okay? It's the same thing for men. Just because a woman sleeps with you, da 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 da. But either way, though, that's another conversation. With that being said, Ashley has played herself. I mean, if he does end up leaving her, then Ashley has played herself, thinking that her SEX drive was this and that. <laughs> with that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.